Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will be talking about my top 10 most unique fragrances from my collection. And I was tagged to do this video by Manahil from Perfume Realm. If you're not familiar with her channel, I will link it down below. She has a really beautiful collection. She's lovely. She has niche fragrances, she has designer, and most of all, the way that she describes these fragrances, is she takes you through this journey. She tells stories about each and every scent, and um, I find it fascinating. So without further ado, let's get started. The unique scent that I will be talking about is the Gentle Fluidity Gold by Mason Francis Kirkjian. This is actually my favorite fragrance from this house. What makes this fragrance unique is that all the notes that are listed in here do not translate to the way it smells on your skin at all. This list is having juniper berries, uh, there's amber, there's musk. On my skin, I smell roses and oud. And it's a very beautiful fragrance. It's also very unique in that it's dense and airy all at once at the same time. So it has these different nuances about it that I haven't found to be in other fragrances. So there's a gentle fluidity silver, which has the same exact notes as this does. And it smells completely different. I know that MFK is truly a wizard when it comes to perfumery. So this fragrance has to be unique coming from his house. And it's beautiful, it's sexy, it's airy and sexy and thick and decadent. It's just a very unique one in my collection. The next unique fragrance in my collection is the Hermes Elixir de Merveille. And uh, this is a beautiful composition of amber, balsamic citrus, caramel, cedar, oak, and pearl balsam. And the way that it smells on the skin is truly magic. When I wear this, I can't stop smelling my wrist because it gives the skin a sun warm sensation. Your skin smells like it's been warmed up by the sun, whether you've been in the sun or not. So these notes are just uniquely translated into this completely other type of scent that I would have imagined. And I have not smelled anything like this. There's nothing out there that smells like this. This is truly one of a kind, it's a beautiful scent. The next unique scent in my collection is the Versace Crystal Noir and this is the EDP. This is a combination of coconut, cardamom, ginger, there's spicy pepper, it's sweet and musky. So you get this juxtaposition of sweet and spicy and fresh. This scent is unique because usually Something that has this type of a vibe that comes in the dark bottle that's called noir, something noir, is typically a sweet scent. We've all, you know, had them, smell them, have them, and they're sweet scents. This is a very cold scent. This is a very aloof type of scent. It's not a scent that beckons somebody to come to you. This is a scent that encourages people to stay away. And it's very gothic. There is nothing out there that smells like this. This composition gives the scent such a uniqueness, such a different type of vibe than anything else. So it's mysterious, sweet, refreshing, yet cold. And that's what gives the uniqueness to the scent. The next unique fragrance I'll be talking about is Kissing by Killian. And this is one of the newer ones in my collection. And the scent is intoxicating. It's unique in that it takes you through different steps. First, you get that Lily of the Valley, the very strong 
floral scent of Lily of the Valley, followed with that sugar, like a candy sugar with hot milk. And it's just interesting how it warms up as it dries down and it becomes sweeter and sweeter. And that Lily of the Valley kind of stays in the background. It's still there, it still lingers, but it's a lot more subdued and you just get this beautiful sweetness that's almost cotton candy-like. It's that sweetness mixed with the Lily of the Valley and the hot milk. There's something about it that just makes it so darn sexy and so unique. So this is Kissing by Killian. My next unique fragrance is Gucci Rush. And this is a very unique scent. This scent was is from the 90s. This was produced sometime in the late 90s. And there's nothing out there that smells like this. This is truly an amazing scent. This has a lot of fruity notes, but there's some florals in here. It does not translate into what it smells like once it's sprayed out of the box. It has like a very interesting, like plasticky smell, but in a good way. And it smells exhilarating. It smells sexy at the same time. It's uplifting. It's like a happy scent. This scent um, takes me to my happy place. I really enjoy it and I find it to be extremely unique. This next scent is by Tiziana Terenzi, El Contrario. And this one smells like a delicious bread bakery. It's sweet, but it doesn't fully go to that sweet cloying level. Like it's at a lower level of sweet. It's very wearable, um, very unique in that it brings about the scent of bread. Next unique scent is by Victor and Rolf and it's the Dancing Roses. So what I find unique about this scent is how the cherry and the roses coexist. I typically don't smell these two notes together. I have not in any other fragrance that I have come across. And the two notes are not competing with each other. They're coexisting and they're playing together so beautifully. It's almost as if these roses are kind of doing this dance where they dance in and out of the fragrance. So sometimes that cherry comes through, it's a cherry liqueur, and sometimes the scent of this beautiful rose comes through. And it just kind of goes back and forth, back and forth as you're wearing this scent throughout the day. Where one minute I'm smelling my wrist and it smells like a rose, and then the next minute it smells like the cherry liqueur. I find this to be very unique and a really beautiful scent. So this is Dancing Roses by Victor and Rolf. The next scent I am going to talk about, and if I didn't, who would I even be? Like, I need to talk about the scent. This is, of course, my beloved Alien by Mugler. This is a very unique scent. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so intoxicating. It's indolic. It's unique. It's a complex fragrance. It's a complex mix and it's amber woods and jasmine, but there's so much more going on in this than just that. While you wear it, you experience that jasmine. And I have never smelled a jasmine that smells like this. There's different takes on jasmine. This is a dirty jasmine and it brings so much uniqueness to this fragrance. I absolutely love this one. So the next fragrance that's very unique to my collection is also fairly new. This is the Black Perfecto by Le Petit Robe Noir from Guerlain. And this is part of that Le Petit Robe Noir collection, which I love. So this fragrance is unique in that it has the cherry, as does the original. It also has the almond, which gives it like a very pleasant scent. This also has a licorice and leather. And those notes are very challenging to me. 
I personally don't enjoy them, but they're nicely blended into this, that none of them really come out strong. And this fragrance just smells so beautiful, so pleasant. Um, I get to enjoy it having those two notes in here. So I think it's very unique in that it has that animalic resinous scent to it without coming off too leathery, too licorice-like. And uh, I've been enjoying this ever since I got it. So this is a good one, you guys. So this concludes my video for today. I hope you all enjoyed watching it. Manahel, thank you so much for tagging me. I truly enjoy doing this tag. And everybody go check her out and check out this video that she made. And uh, she started this tag, by the way. This was her idea. And um, I think it's unique. So thank you for watching. And I hope to see you all back here soon. Take care.